You would think that a looming recession, spurred largely by exorbitant government spending, would give this Congress pause. But instead of taking a minute to consider what a responsible federal government budget looks like, we are instead placed behind the barrel of a gun, forcing us to choose between letting government expire or blindly passing a $1.7 trillion spending package that not only does not balance, but in fact spends over 10% more than last year. How does Congress spend taxpayers' money? Well, here's just a few examples of how your government currently spends money. We found that they spent last year $2.3 million injecting beagles with cocaine. It seems that they were curious, their researchers were curious, despite the pain they inflicted on these dogs, they were curious to know if cocaine causes adverse effects. Guess what? Read the newspaper. Read the news. Look at the addicts across our country. You think you need to inject beagles with cocaine to know that cocaine's a bad deal. $700,000 was spent to study how male parrots attract their mate. Really? We've got people who go hungry in our country. We've got people that are trying to get out from behind poverty, and we're spending $700,000 studying how male parrots attract a female. We spent $187,000 to study whether or not dogs help kids cope. Of course they do. Ask any pet owner. Any pet owner could have told you, and we would have saved the taxpayer $187,000. We spent $118,000 to study if a metal replica, a robot of Marvel Comics' evil warlord Thanos could snap his fingers. $118,000, really. They apparently hired some dude to wear metal gloves and then try to snap his fingers. You know what? they found out that it's impossible to make a snapping sound with metal fingers. So robots of the world, be warned, it's hard to snap your fingers. 